What's up guys, Riley here from RP Productions, and today I actually have a product review. Uh, now this one was completely unexpected. The other day when I was at the Houston Auto Show, um, Adams Polishes had a booth set up, and I went over to check out some of their products. I was with a buddy, and he said, dude, you gotta buy some of this. It's the greatest stuff you'll ever use. So, you know, I fell for it, and I went ahead and bought some, uh, some of their products. And the product that stood out the most to me is this here, detail spray so it comes in a 16 ounce bottle like this or you can buy it in several other varieties like a gallon or five gallons or whatever from them uh, this one right here is $12.99 on their website and this has honestly changed the way uh, drying a car should be like it, it's <laughs> so much easier with this stuff so I've used it once and that's how much it used so I believe you could probably get about three full car washes out of one bottle so three car washes for $13 it's really not too bad so I'm going to show you guys what exactly you do with it to make it where you know drying is much easier and just how to go about doing things. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I got my 2014 Dodge Charger RT here as my test subject for the wash today. Uh, now let's walk over here and see what we're going to use. So first off, I'm going to be using some Adams Polishes Car Shampoo. Now this is basically car wash soap. Uh, the cool thing about this is you only need about two capfuls to wash your whole entire car with the normal sized uh, car washing bucket. So really I've, I've used it once and hardly used anything at all out of it. Uh, so this probably will last me for quite a while and the price on it was not bad either. Uh, you're also going to need one of these little microfiber pads, which you're actually going to throw in the bottom of the bucket. Um, I'll explain it in a second, but a microfiber wash mitt, a uh, towel, and then a waffle towel. Now these are awesome for drying your car. I actually su suggest you get two of these, uh, and you know, instead of using this towel right here, this is also a microfiber uh, smooth towel. Um, but you can, I mean, honestly, the best way to do it is go do it with two of these waffle towels, and I'll explain that all in a, in a minute. But uh, first things first, so got this uh, in here, and I'm going to open up the Adams Polishes car wash soap, and you're actually going to squirt it on the uh, little towel, so I'm just going to do just a little bit. I'm only going to be cleaning the hood today for the video's purposes, so um, that right there should be plenty. Now you're going to grab your um, water, and you're going to spray it directly onto the pad. So fill up this bucket, and I'll get back. All right, so I got the bucket all filled up nice and uh, bubbly. As you can tell, that soap really bubbles up. Um, you know, it's a nice, real soapy soap, and you don't have to use very much of it, which is awesome. That's why I like it so much. Um, but first thing will be first, you're gonna grab the, the hose, and you're gonna rinse down your car just like you would normally do. All right, so now that the car is all nice and wet, you're gonna go ahead and grab your microfiber wash mitt and the bucket of soapy water. And uh, you just wash your car basically like you normally do. All right, so you soaped it up, time to rinse it off. All right, now here's where things get a little bit different. So instead of just going directly to a towel and wiping your car off, you're actually gonna grab the uh, detail spray, which is kinda hard to do with one hand. Um, you're gonna grab the detail spray and actually spray it on the wet car. Um, so this is basically gonna aid with uh, not leaving water spots or streaks or anything along those sorts. Uh, I'm just gonna do the whole entire hood for the video. Um, but you know, just spray a decent amount um, on the car. Then you're gonna grab your first towel and pretty much just dry, dry the whole thing off to get all the main water off of the car. Now what you'll notice is that it, it's already coming up uh, really nicely over there, but this first towel, you're pretty much gonna be able to use it almost on the whole entire car. By the end of the wash, you know, it'll start leaving water marks and stuff, but that's when you come back with the waffle towel, and that's the one that you really use to dry the car. So, you know, right there, it's not totally dry, but it's good enough. So now you're gonna grab the waffle towel. And if you don't have one of these, I highly suggest you pick one of these up. Uh, I actually got this one from O'Reilly and it has been great. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. It's hard to do this with one hand. But anyways, grab the waffle towel. And like I said, these are perfect towels for drying, you know, up and down motions or side to side motions, whichever you prefer, just not circular. And 
uh, you'll start to notice right away that your car dries a lot better than it used to. Now I have a black car, so pretty much everything when car washing is magnified. You know, the water spots, they all show up and everything along those lines. But even with um, black paint, as you can tell, all the spots that got properly dried, I mean, it's, it's flawless. It dries so nicely and, you know, it's still a little bit wet because there's some moisture, but it's, it's going to dry way better than it would if you did not use that detail stuff. And I was really surprised, but it's, it's night and day difference, honestly, and it makes the entire car washing process so much easier. Now, obviously, I didn't do that great of a job drying, um, you know, holding a camera in one hand, but it's, it's truly incredible how much of a difference that stuff makes when you're drying your car. And yeah, so I hope this video was able to help you guys out. Maybe you learned something on how to wash your car a little bit easier. Um, you know, obviously that stuff's still wet. This stuff is dry, but you know, the paint is literally like a freaking mirror. All of a sudden, that detail spray, once again, great stuff. Highly recommend using this. Uh, as for soap, you know, I, I bet you could get away with using normal car, wa car wash soap. I don't think that really matters, but what matters is the detail spray. That stuff makes a huge freaking difference, trust me. And also, if you're gonna clay bar your car, this is the stuff you would use as well. Uh, instructions for washing and instructions for the clay bar. So, you know, it has multi multiple purposes, but it's overall just a great product and, you know, it has your car looking like that in no time. So, pretty simple to do, but it's just that one little step in a car washing process that could make a huge difference in the result, the final result. So guys, thanks for watching this video, and have a good one. Take it easy.